Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Sing Free with Jay. My name is Janelle, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing a new mascara from Essence. They dropped so much new stuff at Ulta, but I picked up one of their waterproof mascara. It's a brand new mascara that just came out, and this is it right here. And I also have the original as well, so we can compare the two together. So if you guys are interested in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell and let's get straight into this video. The new Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Waterproof Mascara retails for $4.99 and contains 0.40 fluid ounces just like the original. I love the bright neon blue tube. This is actually my first time trying a waterproof mascara in years. I haven't used one since I was like a teenager. But this is the original mascara. It's always sold out at my local Ulta. And it's one of the most asked about products. I know this version went viral on TikTok not that long ago. And I can definitely see why. I only used it a couple of times already. And I truly do love this mascara. Both mascaras are cruelty free and paraben free. Both come in one color which is a deep black with a creamy formula. As you can see both wands are the same. The bristles are very tiny, spiky and spaced out. Okay so I zoomed you guys a little bit closer in. This is the original mascara and I'm just gonna wipe off the tip because it's like way too much product. I always do this when I do my mascara. I'm not wearing anything on my lashes right now. We're going to do the original mascara on this side and then the waterproof version on this side. This mascara wand makes it pretty easy to coat the lashes and separate them at the same time. I don't experience any clumping whenever I use this mascara. like to take the wand and like roll it on the top just like that and then just brush it out um right now I'm pretty much applying two layers Okay, so this is a difference in my lashes right now. This side has mascara, this side does not have any mascara whatsoever. And we can see a huge difference. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the waterproof version. And we're going to do the other eye. And again, I'm just going to take the mascara out. And I'm just going to wipe off the tip. And then we're just gonna put a couple coats on this eye as well. The new waterproof version is just as creamy as the original and you still have a few minutes to play around with it before it dries down completely. I like that it's not watery and it's also very black in color. I did accidentally get a little bit of mascara on my lids, so I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush and just wiping away any of the flakes. Okay guys, so this side has the waterproof mascara and this side has the regular washable mascara. What do you guys think? I decided to go in with another coat on the upper lashes to see if it would make a difference. And honestly, it looks pretty much the same. And now I'm just going in with a few coats to the lower lashes as well. This mascara gives some decent length and volume. I honestly can't complain. I will admit that I am not a pro at applying mascara. I make mistakes all the time and it's pretty easy to clean up those mistakes. As you guys saw what I did with the brush earlier. Some of my favorite mascaras are the Essence Lash Princess, Maybelline Sky High, Pat McGrath, Dark Star, and the MAC Stack. Okay, so this lower lash line has mascara and this one does not. I 
I have like pretty short lashes. And we're going to do the other side as well. I do want to mention that by the end of the day when I removed my makeup, it took about double the amount of cleanser to remove the waterproof mascara versus the original one. And I did lose about five lashes on the waterproof side, even though I was very gentle, which is why I don't recommend wearing waterproof mascara every day. I purchased mine specifically for special occasions, and this is the only waterproof mascara in my collection. Okay, so now we have an even amount of mascara on both sides. What do you guys think about this mascara? I think it looks really, really good. You can see a huge difference before I started putting mascara on and after I finished. Like, I actually look like I have lashes again. I'll also do like a side by side. So I'm, I'm gonna move over here and then I'll put like the video on the screen comparison of what I looked like before putting the mascara on as well. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been about maybe about 30 minutes or so. I did film another video while I was waiting for this to fully dry. So that's why, I mean it didn't take 30 minutes to dry, but I decided to do something else in the meantime and be productive. Um, but this is what the lashes are looking like. As you can see, they don't really move too much. They, they're pretty like hard, like they feel rock hard on this side like they're not moving okay so next i'm just taking this water bottle i'm just gonna pour a little bit of water on here not too much and i'm just gonna run this over the waterproof mascara I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's very minimal flakes on there. It's like right there, little tiny dots of the mascara that came off. I'm going to take the other side, pour a little bit more water. And then I am going to run it on this side. Okay, so yeah, there's a huge difference. Like, you guys can actually see the mascara came off with water on the washable side. Versus this side, where you can barely see anything. There's a, a bunch of little tiny, well not a bunch, but just a couple little tiny dots, specks of mascara. While this one, it just smeared right off. I'm also going to do this and see what happens and then I'm going to do it to the other eye. Really get in there. One of my lashes <laughs> fell off on this side. But I can definitely see more flakes on this side versus that side. Like you can see under my eyes, like kind of dark right here and messy compared to that side. Okay guys, so for my final thoughts on both of these mascaras, I love both of them. I'm going to continue to use both of them and buy both. But if I had to choose one over the other one, I would choose the waterproof one, especially since it didn't have as much smudging and flaking as the other one. As you can see on this side, under my eye was pretty dark. And then there was a lot more flakes on this side. 
and also with this side it came off real easy smeared with water compared to this side so I would say if you're looking for a new waterproof mascara I would definitely check this one out I would give this mascara I want to say a 9 out of 10 the waterproof claim I would say would be like an 8 out of 10 for this one and then obviously this one's not waterproof whatsoever other than that I'm just looking at my notes both of my lashes look exactly the same on each side so they didn't change the formula or like the bristles or anything like that and the wand is exactly the same the only difference is the waterproof claim also both sides of my lashes felt the same they both felt pretty hard and stiff like they weren't going anywhere and then also like I already mentioned there was minimal um, smudging and flaking on both sides initially but when I did the like, water test there was way more smudging and flaking on this side and if you're wondering why I have a different lip on and if my lip changed since the beginning of the video like I said I did film another video so this is still the same day I just changed my lip color because I tried out a different product in my other video but this is pretty much it for this video I don't really have anything else to say it's a really good mascara it's only $4.99 you can't go wrong with that and Essence always have sales. They always have buy one get one 50% off, buy one get one 40% off, buy two get one free at Ulta. So it's a very very affordable mascara. I feel like it's way better than a lot of high-end mascaras that I've tried and I've tried so many mascaras and these are some of the very very few that actually work for me. I'm very picky when it comes to mascara. I have very very short lashes and I feel like these actually make my lashes look a little bit longer. They separate my lashes very very well and they work really good on both my top and lower lashes. I feel like some mascaras are really good on the top lashes and on the lower lashes they're just like no they're not that good at all but i really enjoyed this mascara i will definitely repurchase it and will continue to use this um, let me know your thoughts down below on this mascara if you're going to be picking it up along with anything else that essence have released in the last couple of days i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys